a cooling off of the political rhetoric after that gunfire. And even former President Trump's expected to echo that same sort of sentiment when he addresses the Republican National Convention. And at this point, though, not a lot of talk about a supposedly rigged election or a weaponized Justice Department at the RNC, at least not to this point. And even some local elected officials are now saying that Enough is enough when it comes to our divided and often intolerant nation these days. We saw lawmakers, both Democratic and Republican, coming together for a news conference in downtown Erie's Perry Square earlier this week. With that shooting in Butler, PA, uh, still uh, fresh on their minds. As we were talking about yesterday, there was that added police presence after Saturday's shooting at that uh, news conference down in Perry Square. I got a chance to talk to Democratic State Rep Bob Mursky, as well as a Republican State Senator Dan Laughlin, about what needs to happen to get America past all the partisan bickering. To take an event like that uh, to get people's attention, you know, hopefully we don't need to see that again. Uh, but if that's what it took uh, to, to unite this country again, uh, you know, that's the silver lining, I guess. As we've gone into these uh, silos of social media algorithms that just reinforce everything that you already believe, uh, we've lost that sense of seeing the other side. And um, we need to get back to that. And we're going to find out if former President Trump is going to uh, echo those calls for unity at the Republican National Convention. He is expected to address the gathering there in his first post-attack speech. That one's set for tomorrow night, Tracy. Thanks for that, Mark. And we continue to have information.